Element number 55 on the periodic table is cesium. The atomic symbol for cesium is CS. Cesium is a pliable silver-white metal. It is the most alkaline of all the elements and one of only three metals along with mercury and gallium that are liquid at room temperature. Cesium gets its name from the Latin word caseus, which means sky blue, the color cesium produces when viewed through a spectroscope. Cesium is classified as an alkali metal and it lies in the periodic table's sixth row, period six. Each atom of cesium consists of a cloud of electrons surrounding a compact nucleus that contains almost all the atom's mass. In the most common form of cesium, its nucleus has 55 positively charged protons plus 78 uncharged neutrons. Cesium has 55 negatively charged electrons to balance its 55 protons. These electrons are found in six orbital shells surrounding the nucleus, which can be visualized as being built up from the nearest preceding noble gas, xenon. Xenon has 54 electrons distributed among five orbital shells. Cesium has one more electron than xenon. This single electron is found in the sphere-shaped 6s orbital shell. Cesium, like the other alkali metals, is highly reactive and loses this lone valence electron readily to other elements. In this experiment, one gram of cesium is contained in a glass vial and attached to a device which can be operated from a safe distance. When the vial is smashed, it releases the cesium into a bowl of water. Cesium reacts very rapidly with water to form a colorless solution of cesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. The reaction creates a large amount of heat and is so energetic that most of the water is hurled out of the bowl by the resulting explosion. Cesium is extremely reactive. It explodes when it comes into contact with cold water, and it even reacts to light rays. As a result, this element is often used in infrared lamps, optical instruments, and photoelectric cells. Cesium compounds are used to make glass and ceramics. And cesium-137, a radioactive waste product of nuclear reactors, is sometimes used to kill certain kinds of cancer cells. The first widely used mechanical clocks of the 1500s used coiled springs to keep time. But these clocks were not very reliable. They could gain or lose as much as 15 minutes a day. By the mid-1600s, the invention of the pendulum clock improved our ability to keep time. Pendulum clocks could keep time to within 15 seconds a day. 24 minutes, 40 seconds. But early clocks were nothing compared to the atomic clocks of today. The most common atomic clocks use the element cesium to keep time. Cesium atomic clocks measure the vibrations of the outer electrons within a beam of cesium atoms. Cesium atoms vibrate steadily at more than 9 million cycles per second. As cesium atoms pass through a magnetic field, the frequency of their vibrations can be used to calibrate the ticking of a clock. The first cesium clock was put into operation in England in 1955. Scientists estimate that it will gain or lose less than a second every three million years. And newer cesium clock designs are even more accurate. At the tone, Eastern Daylight Time, 15 hours, 54 minutes, exactly. The U.S. Naval Observatory operates about 70 atomic clocks. The average of these atomic clocks creates the master time signal that is broadcast by satellites circling the Earth. Navy ships depend on this system for navigation. The system is called GPS for Global Positioning System. It depends on 24 Navstar satellites that circle the globe in synchronized orbits. The satellites send information to the receivers on Earth. Each signal arrives at a slightly different time depending on the distance of the satellite. The GPS receiver computes the time delays and can figure out a satellite's location.
GPS is finding its way into new places. GPS receivers are helping lost hikers find their way, synchronizing the distribution of power, and assisting mass transit vehicles in avoiding collisions. And many cars are coming equipped with talking navigation systems too. So, thanks to cesium clocks and GPS, more people will be able to get where they need to go, and get there on time.